A warm welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time you're coming across Kate Vlogs, kindly consider subscribing. Make sure that you turn on the post notification bell. Also give this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for always coming back to watch my content. As the title of this video suggests, I'm going to show you what I bought for the month of March. It is currently March. This is my birthday month. Yeah, and I'm so, so excited that I'm going to do this video on an International Women's Day. And I have gifted myself with something that I, I'm going to show you in a few. So I've done uh, shopping for this month. I just restocked what I felt was needed to be restocked. And um, one step at a time. So I want to show you what I went to buy in the supermarket. And some of the things that I'm going to show you. I did not buy in the supermarket. I actually bought them on Walsall um, because Walsall is a bit, bit affordable. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is a, a sausage, a classic safari pork sausages. They cost 325 Kenyan shillings. They are 10 pieces and we are lovers of that sausage together with mess. So this is how my shopping looks like for this month. As you can see, I went and bought Lala. I did the other video where I told you I'm going to introduce my son to Maziwamala. And um, I don't know if it is Maziwamala or Maziwalala. But I introduced him to the Maziwalala as it is written here. And he really enjoyed. And every time I go to the supermarket... I always ensure that I remember yeah, Maziwalala. So this one, one of them is his and this other one is mine. We don't have a fridge so I can't buy a lot uh, because they, definitely they will go bad. And then this is one type of rice that I really love. It goes for around 650 shillings for 2 kgs. And then Menengai, it's at 200 and something, I can't remember. And then my son really loves this. So I buy him these urban bites for snacking yeah and he always tells me he wants these ones that have lines yeah so and then i bought sugar uh, and then i bought um this is uh paper napkins these are serviettes and then definitely the kitchen towel i always love this one uh this this pink one but it was not on offer i went with with what i felt was on offer and then i can't fail to to uh, miss this one to introduce this baby of ours in our kitchen this is the newest in the kitchen this is an oil dispenser that i bought at 500 shillings in kamkunji i really love it yeah if you look closely it just opens up to that yeah and then it hasn't it has no spillage so i love it it has the measurements there so let me put it there so that is the newest in the kitchen and then definitely we cannot miss omena in this house and then i also bought some potatoes and this um mount kenya milk 18 pieces times 500 and because i was shopping in neighbors i bought white bread from neighbors I don't know what I've not showed you. Okay, um, I also bought go fruit orange and go fruit mango. I told you the other time my son really loves orange, so I bought him orange go fruit, and I bought myself mango. And then this is what I normally use. Um, I don't know what kind of pads you use, but normally I use soft care soft care pads. So I bought by 12 at around 13 something. I can't remember the exact amount I bought them with, but it was around 1,300 and something. I also bought beef uh, noodles because um, we are not lovers of spaghetti. Then something else that I also bought are, oh, let me show you, these mangoes. Mangoes right now are very expensive, but I bought these ones at 15 shillings each. Uh, this one's costed me a hundred shillings. Then this one was just an addition. You know in Kenya when you buy something like that here uh, so One of them is added to you for free Yeah, so that is how my shopping looks like and now ladies and gentlemen This is the newest um, member of our kitchen. So I've been using Meko for the longest and um, That is how uh, my kitchen uh, used to look like 
uh, those sufurias, I used to place them on the table. If you've been following me for so long, you know that I had a table where I was placing the meko on top and then the sufurias, I was like arranging them on the table. So right now we have upgraded. It is International Women's Day. It is the right time to celebrate myself. Uh, so I found this cooker on offer at Neighbors and uh, I decided to grab it because the offer was ending at end of March. So I decided to buy it. Uh, it's brand new, never used. I've not even like uh, lit it. Let us try. I don't know. So that is okay. So in a Yay! So at least we have upgraded from using Meko or Glory back to Jesus. So this is the newest member in our kitchen. It uses electricity. You don't have to like press the cupboard on my So this one, as long as this one is on, it has an automatic. Uh, it's automatic. And then something else about the reason why I chose this one. Let me use the one that is not hot. It has this part. I don't know if you are seeing the gold part. It is a sensor that if a kid comes here and like cleats the gas, it will automatically disconnect from the cylinder. So it has a sensor. Like if I decided to start playing with this part, you see, it's on, but you see, it go on, but image is automatic because they think the the sensor knows that that is not a serious person lighting the gas or something. So that is the best thing about this. And then the maker that I was using is what was connected because uh, I haven't bought uh, the, the 12 kg cylinder. I'm not in a rush. What you're seeing there is just um, seven, seven dusts, yeah, seven powder for the cockroaches. I'm just trying to get rid of them. If you have any other solution for cockroaches, please just come to my rescue. So that is my month shopping for the month of um much i hope that you have enjoyed this video um so i also bought this i almost forgot to show you um i bought tomatoes and onions just small quantities because i don't have a fridge now because our table is no longer in use um i don't know where i'll be placing this for years but um i'm still doing um what do you call it i'm still trying to check uh in the market which is the best sufuria that is quite affordable and um it should be non-stick so that is what i'm targeting i'm trying to save up for the non-stick pan that i'm trying to save for non-stick sufurias and i have a lot of suppliers who are willing to get me the sufurias at affordable price because they also want me to advertise for them somehow so I will let you know on which kinds of sufurias I will go for and I will keep you updated about the prices, everything, um, God willing. So thank you so, so much for tuning in on today's video. I really, really appreciate. I feel so good. It is International Women's Day and I gifted myself with this beautiful, beautiful cooker. So I can't wait to start uh, baking things. I don't know if I will be able to bake, but... Um, that will be dependent on bake and also like uh, grilling chicken, grilling pork, grilling everything. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next video. Bye.